is a presentation for paper entitled Cultural Differences in Complexity of Reasoning in Higher Education by Guillermo Rodriguez Avitia, Soledad Ramirez Montoya, Sandra Martinez Perez, and Edgar Lopez Caudana. We know that there is a very low uh, participation of women in the STEM field, and this might be due to many social characteristics or context and influences like family, friendships, uh, or the same educational system. Uh, so we explore the development of complex thinking as a fundamental characteristic of uh, success for the STEM field and how national culture affects this and if there is any evidence that this also affects genders. Complexity reasoning helps to analyze, synthesize, and solve problems that transform context and is composed by four dimensions, systemic thinking, scientific thinking, critical thinking, and innovative thinking. On the other hand, national culture was developed by Kurt Hofstede in the 1980s, and it's uh, comprised by five dimensions, a certain avoidance that relates to how comfortable I feel at making decisions under imperfect information conditions. Individualism, that refers to how much a person prioritizes their own goals over the goals of the group. Masculinity, which uh, refers to characteristics of strength, competition, aggressivity, uh, protection, provision, and um, the view of the female as a, as a lesser individual. Uh, power distance, which is uh, related to how much a cultural group uh, sees hierarchy is natural. And confusion dynamism, which relates to long-term orientation and was added later, especially uh, considering the uh, Asian cultures. We concentrate on our study in four countries, Chile, Ecuador, Mexico, and Spain. And as you can see, Ecuador does not have any values for uh, uh, Ecuador, so we do not consider that particular dimension. Our methodology consists of a survey that was applied to 684 students in these countries using an instrument of a complexity that was previously created and validated and consisting of 25 items that measure perception on the competence of complex thinking. We perform a multiple analysis of variance to observe differences by country using convenient samples from uh, Chile, Ecuador, Mexico, and Spain in different numbers, as you can see. And we created also some box plots to analyze visually uh, the findings. Our results indicate that indeed there are differences in, uh, between the countries for all dimensions. And uh, there's a clear separation into two groups. One is Mexico and Ecuador. The other one is Spain and Chile. And they are uh, behaving commonly and differently from the other group. All countries, however, are different in the fourth dimension. There is no grouping there. And from the box plot analysis, we can also see that Chile and Spain always have lower values than Mexico and Ecuador, which is some, somewhat surprising. Uh, Spain is the lowest in all, except for innovative thinking. Ecuador and Chile, on the other hand, tend to have wider distributions and therefore more variance. Uh, outliers depend on the behavior of the outliers uh, on the dimension that is being treated. And there are differences, sadly, in means of uh, between genders being lower the scores for females, clear. Uh, we can discuss that there is definitely evidence that complexity of reason, reasoning competences are developed differently depending on cultural context. This separation of the countries into two groups uh, is very clearly related in direct proportion to power distance and masculinity and in inverse proportion to uncertainty avoidance. The alignment, however, does not exist at all to individualism. So this uh, dimension does not seem to be significant. It seems counterintuitive that Chile and Spain, which have better educational systems or so we think, than Ecuador and Mexico might have lower values. This could be explained by the relationship to power distance, meaning that structure might be a way of dealing with, uh, with the complexity, or also might be simply a bias problem in the sample. Uh, concluding, we can say that there is an, definitely an indication that cultural difference may overpower, to some extent, the institutional efforts to increase educational quality and standardization. Masculinity may have a, direct, a negative effect on the de development of complex reasoning in women. However, this dimension requires further exploration because it's a complex dimension by itself. Uh, this exploratory study sheds light on the impact of national culture and uh, then on performance of STEM. But much more yet is to be done. It needs to be explored further. And, and educational ecosystems indeed need to be designed considering the characteristics and nuances of the target groups. Thank you so much for your attention.